So let's talk more about the HTML code. Um, so first, let's talk about the attributes. Uh, so almost all the HTML elements have attributes. So attributes provide additional information about the element. So for example, the, the style, uh, the way that those elements look like, and also and also the other like information like ID, etc. So normally those attributes are specified in the starting tag. So uh, remember that starting tag does not have a slash and also ending tag does have a slash. Um, and it usually come into this name value pairs. So it's more like name equals and also value always have an, a pair of the double um, quotation mark. Uh, so for example here, let's see one example. Um, so for this p paragraph p tag, we can add a title attribute, and the value is that I am a tool tip. Okay, uh, so that we can add a title attribute. And for the images, uh, we saw that earlier. So we can have the source attribute that indicates where the image comes from, and also we can define the width, the height, etc. And also, we can also add like alternative words, like what will be the alternative word like if the image cannot be displayed correctly. And also for this a tag, we have this href attribute. So for example, like uh, that provides the URL of this uh, link, so that the when you click this link, so how the browser will direct you. And here are some other um, more attributes like ALT, alternative, alternative text for an image when the image cannot be displayed. Uh, disabled, specify that an input element should be disabled, allowed or not, href, so that is url. ID, you can give a, a unique ID for an element. Source, Okay, so you can specify the URL for an image. Uh, normally, that is for the image. Um, the image can be a local and also can be an uh, image on the website. Style, so you can specify the inline CSS style and also title. So title can specify extra information about the element. And sometimes it can be displayed as a tool tip. Okay. So here, if we look at our um, HTML source code, so for example, for this p tag, uh, let's add a title attribute equals, okay, um, this is a p tag, okay, so we can give the title, and also we can also give it ID, so for example, for second p tag, we say ID, Equals, so we can call it ID of the P2. Okay, so we can call it P2, so that can separate, distinguish this P tag from this P tag. Um, and also, we also mentioned that HRF attribute, so that is direct where the, where the browser will direct you when you click this link. And also, the source code, etc. And we can also give it an alternative. Equals so just in case GMU's logo cannot be displayed, so you can call it GMU logo. Okay, so those are some attributes. And once you define those attributes, so if you refresh an HTML uh, page, uh, save that and refresh, you can see that your your web page uh, still look like the same, and that is because those attributes be below state inside of those tags so that will not be uh, rendered by the browser so however if you look at the source code of those html tags you will see that they do have those attributes that are uh, that are changed uh, we can also create a table or display a table on web html site so that is not a table that we mentioned in a relational database those are table are just like they look like a table, so the way that we display the information. Um, so to, to define a table, you should use this table tag. Of course, you should use 
a pair of the starting tag and the ending tag. And each row is defined by using this tr tag. Okay, so that's a table row tag. The header within the tag is defined with this th tag. Uh, and also if that is a cell, so that is defined as a td tag. Okay, header is th tag, cell is td tag. TR defined a row tag. So let's look at one example here. So here we have the table. Uh, we have the style attribute where we tell that the width is 100%. So, um, so that means it will occupy the, the entire screen. And here we have one row, the second row, and also the third row. And everything belongs to this table tag. Okay, for the first row, we have the headings. So it has three headings, first name, last name, and also age. So we have three headings, so that is the header. Uh, for the second rows, those are the values. So that is the second record, so that first name is GL, last name is Smith, and also age is 15. And next, we have our third row, so that is the, for the first column, the second column, and also the last column. Okay, so the table will look like this. It has three rows and also three columns. Okay, and this is the header. So that is the first name, the last name, and also the age. And the second row is talking about the GL Smith. So GL Smith 50. Okay, and the third row is, is another person. Okay. So that is how the table looks like. So here, let's try to create one table in our uh, Lecture 5 HTML. So let's put that one into our, beneath our H1 tag. So let's say we want to create a table. And uh, as I said, I always normally uh, types a pair of the tag. Uh, so here, let's say first, let's have our first row. So let's start with the TR rows and also close with the TR rows. So here let's create a simple uh, table. So suppose that in this TR rows, we have uh, two columns, TH. Uh, this one I call it first name, okay, TH. And for the second column, I call it uh, last name, th. Okay, and uh, let's start our second row. Second rows. Uh, for the second row, so it's no longer header, so it will be the cell. So uh, the first TD cell that I, I use my name. Okay, TD. And the second one, my last name. Okay, TD. Okay, uh, so let's save this. And let's see, review, refresh this HTML code. Okay. So now you can see we have these tables. Uh, we cannot see the border of the tables, uh, but if you use a mouse, uh, you can see we do see that uh, there's a table. So if you want to see the border, you have to change the style. So actually there are two ways. So you can either change the style attribute, which is a little bit more complicated, or you can just use a border attribute itself, which equal, you see that the border equals one, and we save it. And next, if we refresh, you can see the border will be one. And if you change the border to be two and refresh, you can see the border will be slightly different. And we can also define or display the information as lists. Uh, so our HTML, so you can define the uh, an unordered list, so that means that uh, all the items of a list will start start with a dot. 
So an unordered list starts with an UL tag, and each item will start with LI tag. So here you can see we have an, an unordered list where we have three items. Uh, ordered list means that all the, uh, all the items will start with numbers. Okay. So an ordered, ordered list will start with OL tag, and each item still can be an LI tag. So here we can see we have three items, and we'll display that on the browser. It will be one is coffee, two is tea, and three is milk. And for this unordered, it will just a dot, and what first is coffee, second is tea, and the third is a milk. The list can also be nested. Uh, actually, a lot of stuff that in HTML can be nested. So for example, here we define an unordered list, that is first item, the second item, okay, and also third item. For the second item, it is an ordered list, where we have the uh, black tea is the first item of this nested list, and also green tea it will be the second item of this nested list. So let's try that one on our website. So let's say we um, for the second part of this heading. So let's say we start with an unordered list. Okay. And within this unordered list, let's say the first item. Let's say the first item is coffee. And the second item is T. And for this second item, let's define another unordered. Uh, let's try ordered list actually. Ordered list. Let's see. The first item is black tea and the second item is green tea and let's finish this uh, ordered list and let's type the third item which is milk and let's save this one and let's refresh okay so now we can say we have a list which is unordered however for the second item we do have an ordered list